Thank you, Father. God, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus for uh, this moment and opportunity, God, to be in your presence once again, God. Hear the wonderful testimonies, God, the, the songs of praise, God, and uh, our prayers, God, going in, up, God, and just asking you to, uh, to continue to strengthen us, God. We just thank you for listening. We thank you, God, for uh, being in this place on this morning. And we ask right now in the name of Jesus that you remove all of Samuel yeah. and allow your Holy Spirit to take over. This we ask, God, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you, Father. Amen. Amen. And you all may be seated. We're going to jump right into this world. We heard uh, some great, great testimonies on this morning. And um, again, the thing that, that we are having on this morning is encouragement. And uh, so I'm going to continue with the Holy Spirit as he gave me, gave me this morning, dealing with encouragement. And uh, a couple of scriptures I just I want you all to jot down. We're going to review, which is uh, one that's going to be Malachi, third chapter 6. Verse the, Malachi, and this, the uh, other two will be Joshua, first chapter, verse 8, and verse 9. Amen. Malachi 3 and 6, I want you to Malachi 3, 6, Joshua, first chapter, verse 7, verse 8. I mean, I'm sorry, verse 8. Tell me a word. Nobody. In this room has to raise a hand or be asked if there's something in, that you are going through right now that could bring forth discourage. I know the answer to that already. The answer would be yes. Okay. So that there are some things that, in other words, that everybody in this room what going through something. Everybody's going through something. All right. And so we have to understand that it, it's it's not something now you may you may feel it uh you may feel it from your perspective because it's your situation. A, a lot different than other people's situation. But in your circumstances see me that you know ah, it's hard. Yeah. But the word of God has an answer for all of that. Yeah. Amen. So we realize there's a lot of moving parts. A lot of moving parts when it comes to life. And uh, so of course it deals with, it gives us, it brings about many different emotions. One thing that had me going through a lot of emotions is when I went to the store for the first time this week. <laughs> I think we left the uh, 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 Bible study on Thursday. And I went to Walmart, man, I walked to Walmart, I grabbed a, a, a pack of uh, paper, uh, paper plates. They said almost $8. I said, what in the world is going on? $8 for paper? I used to pay like $4 and something cents for these things. Not, not too long ago. That was close to $8. Went to the, uh, the meet out and uh, went past the, the uh, sandwich meat and stuff like that. It's like double the price. I said, we'll be staying with bologna. Bologna, <laughs> bologna, <laughs> bologna, bologna prices is, is, is uh, right now. Yeah, that's about two dollars and thirty nine cents. I said, we'll be happy. Bologna. <laughs> and so I'm just looking at you know how inflation, gas prices, they they they, 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 they raise it to uh, beyond the five dollar mark. They brought it down below a little bit below. In the fours, but it's still high. All right. So I had mixed emotions. I was like, well, okay, cool. Uh, 
prices went up on this, but I'm still a little comfortable because of all these still got prices. Okay, so in the grocery store, I had what mixed emotions. Then when uh, it comes to the health, I'm seeing now that y'all, you got hit with this COVID a couple of few, almost a few years now ago, and uh, we seen this. They seem to know what to have vaccinations and things like that, and uh, we still know how that that goes. But they have a, there's an answer to really everything that's happening. I woke up this morning and I heard that uh, polio is, is back into the scene. And, uh, and polio, that is, uh, is something that actually paralyzes folks. And uh, they said they had this with the first case in uh, New York. They found out Thursday. I was like, if it ain't one thing, it's another. Yep. But look, there's a, a remedy for polio. Yeah, vaccines for that. Okay. So I had, had mixed emotions there, like, oh gosh, here we go again. But at the same time, what? There was a what? An answer for that. Are you with me, church? Yeah. There's something else that's on the rise now, and we call, we call that word divorce. Yeah. It seems like the divorce word is, it, it comes off our lips so easily nowadays. Yeah. Breaking up comes off our, our mouth so easily. We have, we have in our mind, we can do better, we don't have to go through this, so that brings about a lot of different emotions. Especially when people think about being by themselves, they've been with someone for so long, and all this and all that. But then the counter to that is, that we hear the word there is what? Many fish in the sea. So in other words, there's a lot of options out there that I have, which is trying to counter it, being in a relationship that you don't want no more part of. And so, with that being said, it brings about what? Different emotions. And how am I supposed to feel that everything is changing constantly? Is there anything that is reliable? Is there anyone that is faithful? And that brings us to the scripture, Malachi, third chapter, verse six. Now, we know he's talking to the Lord, the children of Israel. But this is what he said that, of that it goes for the children of Israel and it goes for me and it goes for you. Yeah. He says here that what? For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Oh. So we know that God does not what? Change. God does not change. And so if we know that God does not change, then we know we have a what? Faithful God. Yeah. He is what? Dependable. All right? Even though our circumstances may change, our God, what? Remains the same. Are you with me? At the same time, day to day brings us unpredictable situations. Are you with me? You can go in your, and you can start your day and have your own plans planned out. I do it every day at work. I can, I can start up a day at work and my calendar won't look so bad. But, but, but before I get to do, I, my, whole, my whole day will be full of things, full of things on my calendar. Some things I, I, I have no idea what take place. But guess what? Things change. Are you with me? And as they change, it sometimes catches off guard. But the one thing that I hold on to is that God is the same. Now, one thing we have to understand that God directed Joshua. This book of the law shall what? Not depart out of thy mouth. But thou shalt what? Meditate. Y'all know where I am on Joshua, first chapter, verse number eight. Thou shalt, what, meditate therein day that you feel like reading the Bible. Is that what it says? Yeah. On days that we just come to Bible study, read your Bible. On <laughs> days that you come to church, just get your word. Is that what the Bible says? 
It says we ought to do what? Meditate what? It says day and night. It didn't give a specific day or it didn't give a what? Specific night. So in other words, he means what? Every what? Every day and night. Every day and every night. Y'all, God says this stuff, or these powerful things, for a reason. Okay, I think the confusion with us is that we think that this is optional. We think that success, or us feeling, or being, watch this, emotionally stable, which just come by naturally. Said work. Somebody, I think, I think Brother Melvin said that earlier about working. It takes some work. It takes work. And listen, you know what's so hard? We can go out and cut grass, and we can do all these many different jobs, and y'all put together all these type of businesses and things like that. But one of the hardest things for us to do is just open the Bible <coughs> and read it. Yeah. it. Is that not that that ought, that that ought to give us? Uh, that, that ought to make us think. Everything else is easy for us to do. We can get up, yawn, brush our teeth, brush our, wash our face. But get on our knees and pray, that is so hard. We'd rather just stand there, God is good, and walk away from him. Ain't that something? Notice my shepherd, Jesus wept. Amen. And we're and we're done, but the but the crazy part about it is that's not that's not good enough. He wants us to have what a relationship, that, and and relationship with him comes from what prayer and studying his word. But going back to this emotions and being encouraged, he said this book of the law should not depart out of our mouth. In order for it to be in my mouth, I have to have it in my what? In order for me to have it in my heart, I have to do what? I said, read. He said, he said, he says, but thou shalt meditate there in day and night, that thou may what? Observe to know my word. Is that what it says? What? To do it? Uh, okay. Somebody says that, that thou may observe to do According to all that is written therein, for thou shalt make. Okay, Brother Bell, he was all in my sermon earlier. <laughs> Praise God. He, he, he said, if you meditate my word day and night, guess what you gonna do? No, he didn't say guess what I'm gonna do. <laughs> is that, are y'all reading this word? Yeah, we got some work to do. <laughs> He said, come on. What did he say you're going to do? Y'all read it? Y'all read it? He said, that thou mayest what? And what? Somebody said what? Did you what? You will make your way what? That's what the word of God says, y'all. You do what you're supposed to do. God is already going to do what he's supposed to do. Don't you worry about God. But when you do what you're supposed to do, God has, he already has everything already mapped out for you. All you have to do is do what? Your part. Is that what he said? And then because see, people want to blame, blame everything on God. It's God's fault that I'm not successful, Brother Lander. It's God's fault that, that, that this ain't working out for me, uh, Brother Melvin. It's God's fault that, that this... It's happening. That is happening. Everything is not working all because it's God. And we what seem to never take responsibility for our action. Yeah. God said, I'm going to make you, uh, uh, no, you're going to make yourself prosperous. And not just prosperous, you're going to be what? Successful. Yeah. Successful. Just, I just want y'all to think about this. Think about everything that you do. Y'all listen to me. Everything that you do, you win. That seems, that seems like, <laughs> y'all know this, and you're like, what are you talking about? I said, just think about this. Have the mindset that everything that I do, because I'm doing it according to God's will, I am going to win and be successful and be prosperous in it. Everything. Everything. 
That it seems like it's hard to, for a person to believe. You know why I say it's hard for a person to believe? Because it's hard for us to do it. Yeah. Amen? Amen? All right, so but the word is, is, is the truth. So he said, he said that, and I, 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 I strongly believe him, even though these circumstances may have changed, even though the gas prices went up, even though the, the bunny still got a good price. <laughs> Jimmy Dean's prices went up. Jimmy Dean's bacon went up. But God is still faithful. Yeah. Yeah. Everything that I need, I'm going to get. Right? He said, I'm going to be successful. Watch this. We, we learned the other day, as we read the word of God, that we have to look at it in, the, in its full contents. Right? We have to look at it. We have to, we have to observe. But first, we have to read. We have to observe. And we have to like, apply. Right? As we look at this word, we know that, Jesus, that God was talking to who specifically? Who was it? Who was talking to who? Joshua. This is a com an A and B conversation between, between Joshua and, 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 uh, and God, right? But you were able to see. I was about to see your way out. A and B conversation, see your way out. Yeah, that's what we used to say back in the day. Yeah, yeah, catch you later. But anyway, but, but it was an A and B conversation, but he allows us to see. Right? And so as God allows us to observe, I understand that the same thing that he that goes for Joshua, God, guess what? It, I can apply those same principles in my life. And I'm telling you this, if you do it, guess what? It, it'll work for you. Yeah. Amen? Wow. But check this out. And this encouragement was given to Joshua before they even what? If you look at this, Joshua didn't go into no battle at this point, y'all. He the God started off verse one said, My servant Moses is dead. Said, Bria, he's dead. Now, here's what's, here's what's unique about this situation. Joshua, Joshua had the same assignment that what? Moses had. I, I, want, I want you to get this. Yeah, yeah. Joshua had the what? The same what? Assignment as who? Moses. As Moses, right? All right. Now, we know that Moses died before what? He was able to get to the what? So we, we know that we know that we know that Moses did not accomplish what he set out to accomplish. And but it, but it clearly the Bible clearly shows that Moses did not set out to what he accomplished because of what? Disobedience. Speak it up, y'all. Y'all know what you're talking about because of what? Disobedience. disobedience. All right? It's a, it was it was a disobedience move that, that Moses made. But one thing I, I was encouraged to see that Moses Moses still made it to heaven, y'all. I was, I was reminded of Mount Transfiguration when, when, when Jesus went up to Mount Tri uh, Transfiguration when he, he transfigured. And guess who was there with him? Moses and Elijah. Are y'all with me? So the good part is, Moses may not reach the promised land here, but he what? He reached the promised land. Come on. <laughs> Amen? Yeah. Alright, so we, as we move forward, imagine being told something at this time. Moses is dead. Feel us a hurt. And you're being told and instructed to do something that you see somebody else fail in. That, that, can, that, that can what? That can sometimes be like, oh gosh, we will be doing the same. Moses had to deal with these knucklehead people. They, they got him so upset that he, 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 he hit the rock and messed up the whole, the whole, his whole mission, right? But you're telling me, okay, that I can do the same thing? I can, I can do the same thing that you told Moses to do? You telling me this? See, you got to. As, as, we, as we look at the word of God, we have to really take, we have to take the word of God to heart for our, what, ourselves. Okay? Now, imagine, like I told you all before, we, the Bible talks about uh, many of successful runs in the Bible, and it talks about what? There are some what? That were what? Unsuccessful. Yeah. Are you with me? But we know with God, we'll be always what? Successful and prosperous. Only way that, that, that successful and prosperous messed up for these folks, folks, because was because of what? Disobedience. Come on, somebody, y'all with me? All right, so y'all walk with me, because I want to be encouraged this morning. He says, stay in my word as I was walking with Moses. I will what? I will walk with you. Now, as, 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 as God has Joshua's undivided attention, I can imagine he was mesmerized. Like, wow, 
I'm, I'm hearing the word of God being spoken to me. Okay? Y'all, when we read the word of God, we don't, even, we don't even look at it like that. We just look at it sometimes as just words on a piece of paper. We sometimes, and I'm going to tell you the truth, we sometimes read, uh, you know, we go pick up our medic, our medicine at the, uh, at the uh, doctor. We'll read the directions how to take the medicine. And you know what we'll do? Use as directed. <laughs> we'll use it exactly how the words on the little pill yeah, tells true. us. When we go to bake a cake, you know what we do? We read the what? Bakery. The box and, and get the direction. <laughs> we use the box directions. Because we know if we don't use the box directions, guess what? The outcome is not going to be how it looks pictured. That picture, you turn the box around, that picture look all moist and that cake look good. But, but we are not going to get the same results as Betty Crocker got if we use what? Sam's, uh, uh, <laughs> Sam's book of uh, 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 recipe for moist cake. I want, it, I, want my, I want my cake to look like Betty Crocker's. I want it to taste like Betty Crocker's. I just don't want to be able to, uh, I don't want it to taste stupid. I'm not going to use water instead of milk. If it directs me to use milk or eggs, I'm going to use milk and eggs. Are you with me? Because if I use milk and eggs and sugar and flour, whatever it consists of, and use it as directed, now look, I can use all those ingredients because I can use too much or I can use too little. And I won't, and I won't be able to get the what? The same results. Ingredients are important. I was reminded that look, salt and uh, and sugar they look alike. I remember she didn't affect the taste of the kid. Uh, Y'all trying to be sneaky? Got the salt thing. I think they got the salt thing and put it in the. Uh, uh, to, I, I thought it was sugar, but I put it in my cereal. Imagine how that tastes. Jacked it all up. All right, because why? I, I was I was sick to do things my way. Trying to be sneaky, sneaky for real. I wasn't supposed to even be eating it. But because I was trying to be sneaky and do things my way, what? I got some salty, uh, I think frosted flakes. They was imitate, uh, that wasn't even, that was an offering. Corn flakes, yeah. Corn flakes. Salty corn flakes. Yeah, that was. Salty corn flakes. Here's what I'm telling you all. Y'all got to get You all can have success if you do things what? God's way. Now we move a little, we move a little further. Right? Now, as we know this, uh, this encouragement came to Joshua prior to all this stuff happening. Uh, uh, now, now, watch this. Before the people uh, brought on defeat and loss of life to the children of Israel, before the hurt, before the pain, Joshua was told these words by God. Now, we know this is the first chapter of Joshua, and all these other things, what transpired in the, in the uh, uh, seventh chapter and, 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 and thereafter, uh, where uh, there was people that did what? Disobey God. And they felt the pain to the point where Joshua put, fell on his knees and put dust on his head and was, was, was hurt. Because what? There was what? Defeat. Are you with me? The first chapter was what? Preparing Joshua. Let me go a little further. Read verse 8. I mean verse 9. Have not I commanded you, be strong and of a good Okay. 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 Imagine reading this every day. Read, read, read verse 8 and then read verse 9. Imagine reading this every day, y'all. Check it out. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. Uh -huh. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. Verse 9. And then thou shalt have good success. Uh -huh. Have not commanded thee, be strong and of a good courage. Okay. Just hear, just hear that, just that part right there. It got me. I'm like, God, you are, you, why are you, like, I'm sitting here right here in front of you. We in church right now. I'm having, my life is cool. I, 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 I'm okay right now, but why are you keep telling me to be encouraged? Why, why are you telling me, did I say, why are you repeat that like that? Like, wow, you, I'm good right now. But why are you telling me this? Why are you repeating this to me? Are you with me? And see, what we do, what we do, y'all, what we do, I'm going to tell you what we do. We look at our own circumstances for what is what's happening right now, yeah. and we don't even we don't even look look to see what God is preparing us for. Yeah. We don't even look yeah. at life like that. We just look at at what society say. We look we we rate our things by uh, uh, material. Mm -hmm. Okay, we set our goals on stuff like that, and if things don't happen the way, but we don't even take into account health issues. 
We don't, we don't take into account uh, 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 maintenance t issues that take place on our vehicles. That, all this stuff equals to what? Money and time. And it, com it comes what? Unexpected. Right? Am I, am I, am I the only one with bills, but like bills? And, okay, y'all know, know this, stuff, this stuff comes. Uh, y'all got it. The winter time, uh, 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 it's coming. So you don't have to think about the, that, that, that gas bill. Right now, the gas bill is only, what, $30, $40? My mind is already prepared to what? For the $600 gas. Come on, somebody. Because it's what? It's going to what? It's going to come. There's, there's no way around it. It's going to happen. God is preparing Joshua right now for things that are what? It may not be happening right now, but guess what's going to happen? It's going to come. All right, so, 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 so my feelings are not hurt right now. My emotions are, seem like they are intact. But God said, hold, hold on to me because... Life, life will give you a curveball. I, I was watching a game last night. We was out to eat with Jada and him and uh, the family. And I was watching the game and I was looking at the, the, the Royals game. The Royals was winning 4-2. And I don't know what happened after that point. They, that, the Royals. Man, the Royals. <laughs> the Royals. These guys uh, uh, came back and next you know they, they just <laughs> do through the ball, home run, psh, three to four. And they just kept on doing crazy stuff. Then, then Salvador Perez, he when, and I believe that when he prepared for the game, he was he was prepared to, to play the game. But in the middle of him playing this game, y'all seen it? He said, "Oh, he got up off that off his off his legs, and he he had you could tell he had some he had an injury. His foot was injured. And then he had a crack. Well, that was another one thing he happened to. He had a crack. All kind of stuff was happening to Salvador Perez. But as he prepared for this game, he was sitting there playing this game." All this stuff came out of what? Nowhere. <laughs> Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. So you know what I was saying, y'all, to my in my mind? Salvador, give it up. Y'all heard me. What I, dude, just take up the I was say, just take this man out. He's hurt. He's hurt. Get up and get out. Dude. It, it just, I ain't never seen y'all. Y'all seen him. He had his leg. He, <laughs> he must be like this. He doing it like this. <laughs> Y'all see this stuff? That man was determined to what? Finish the game. Yeah. You know, I'm telling you. I said, okay, with that being happening, the pitcher ain't doing right. The outfitters ain't doing nothing. They ain't for sure going to what? Lose. Lose this game. Man, I sat there. I just stopped looking at the game. <laughs> oh, God. It's, just, it's over there. Doom. Over there. Doom. It's real. Oh, this guy's gonna lose. I look up, they don't and I'm seeing like them. I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm seeing highlights from a different game. <laughs> I'm seeing highlights from a different game. What is going on here? They said, Royals win. Flash on the screen. I'm like, what? Let's just don't end up winning the they won that, that game. They've got to be a different one. <laughs> Check this out. I forgot his name, but they showed the, the highlight. Ninth. I, Bottom of the ninth inning. This guy stepped up to the plate. Guess what he did? Pop! Hit the walk-off game-winning ball for the Royals. And so I just, I just looked at that. I'm like, that was some uh, perseverance. When, a, when, when, when you feel as though, God showed me this, you want to give up. And you don't have no more fight in you. Just keep on. Keep on keeping on. And so, and so, and so as he promised success was gonna happen, you gotta what? Hold on. Let me, let me share this with you all. F finish reading that verse, verse, verse number nine. You said what? Be not afraid, neither be thou his I, I'm a grown man. See, I mentioned that earlier. I'm, I'm a grown man. Oh, man, man, listen. Be not afraid. I ain't no punk. Huh? I have be not afraid. Uh, 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 uh. See that? That's what. Listen. Remove that pride. Yeah. And, and put, move that pride away. Yeah. Because you, a lot of people are dead because they they thought they weren't no punks. Uh -huh. Dead punks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But what hap what happens is this. He's telling you that you want to go through some stuff yeah. that will be uncomfortable and it's going to what? Be scary. Yeah. Yeah. All right. 
All right, just just just, just understand, y'all, 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 y'all know. I re remember, I told y'all last week when when they start making it mandated for people to have vaccines and, uh, for everybody that was connected to the healthcare, uh, 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 Medicaid, Medicaid. They get they get paid for this. I gotta get the vaccine. People that they have strong religious beliefs said, "Oh gosh, I'm about to lose my what? I'm about to lose my job. Which if I lose my job, I'm gonna lose my what? My money. I lose my money. I start losing what? The material." I gotta feed the family, I gotta, we start thinking about all this kind of stuff. And so you know what a lot of people was doing? A lot of people was jumping ship. It, 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 was, it was really a pivot moment where it was showing who or what people trusted in. Yeah, yeah. Are, are you with me? I, I, you know what I had to start doing? I had to start making preparations. I, I started, Y'all go down to my downstairs, y'all see. Open the closet. Y'all see all kind of supplies. If we, go to, if we got tents here, we got everything. We got survival kits. Because if, if it goes down, God, I trust you. I am not going to lose my trust in you based off of my circumstances. Yeah, yeah. So, but you know what I had to do? And, and, I, and, I, and I know that God is telling Joshua right here, Joshua, focus. Keep your focus on me. Finish reading this, this word. Check this out, y'all. For the Lord thy God is with thee. I just want y'all to hear it. I, I want y'all to hear that part. It didn't say that you, that you know, because people, I would not lie to y'all. I would never lie to y'all, telling y'all, if y'all come to Christ, you won't have to go through nothing. That is a lie. People tell y'all you'll get to Christ, everything will be done. There's no more. You, you just, you in heaven now. There's nothing else that you have to go through in life. That's a lie. You, might, you are heaven bound, but you're still on this earth. And you're still going to be faced with, so what God would say is that, listen, the circumstances are there, but you're going to have to learn how to deal with this stuff. Yeah, yeah. You, you don't have to deal with this stuff, what? How, the way you used to deal with this stuff. First of all, the responsibility was that of Moses at first. Now, the responsibility is yours. Okay, I, I mean, let, me put, let me put it in terms that you all can understand. Remember when y'all was living at home? Come on, somebody. When y'all was living at home? Look, you don't have to worry about coming. Hit that light switch. Open the refrigerator door. Guess what? Got to, the lights come on the refrigerator. It's cool. And it's food. Come on, somebody. And if it ain't, hey, mama. <laughs> ain't no eggs, mama. <laughs> and what's amazing back then, y'all, y'all know this, y'all know this. Mama know ain't no eggs in there. Daddy know ain't no milk in there. We already looking at it. I got to feed my kids. So, but we know, we knew then our what? Our needs were going to be met. Okay, come on, somebody. But, but, but now, the responsibility of making sure, come on, yeah, yeah, some of y'all know this, what I'm talking about? When it's time to go in the refrigerator and the lights come on, hurry up, close the refrigerator. For real? <laughs> That's not something. <laughs> you ain't, come on, you ain't about to get it. 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 Put that light on. Yeah. How many times you gonna flush that toilet stool? <laughs> if you don't cut that water off, my goodness, yeah, cut that put the water. Then cut it off, then brush your teeth. Wait, wait, listen, when you have that what? Responsibility. Yeah, y'all ain't funny, y'all all know what I'm talking about. Hey, hey, but we don't we don't see we don't see it. We don't get it until we what? We're faced with it. Yeah. Right? All right. So Moses had the responsibility. Joshua, it's your turn. Now, here's what I want you to do. Understand this. Now, let's, let's, let's move Joshua's name out of it right now. I want you all to place your name there. Say, Bria, be of good courage. Jada, you're 25 years old now. You've been grown down for seven years. <laughs> you're 25 now, though. Watch this. You have responsibility as a woman of God. Stand firm. There's some things you're going to see at 25 that you haven't seen 
in 24 years of your life. There's some battles you're going to have to fight and face that you've never seen before. Be of good courage. There's some responsibilities that you're going to be faced with at this 25-year-old stage. Don't you fret. Because like I was with your mom and all the, the your dad and all the uh, others that came before you, shall I be with you? That's right. It's new for me. I, I never experienced this stuff, this stuff before. I've never been 40, how old am I? 44. Oh, she reminded me of that. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I've never been 44 <laughs> years old before, That's sister. Right. So how, how, how do I handle this 44 years at this, at this age, and I mean, uh, at this part, part in my life, and I'm not able to, Quick, real quick testimony as I stop. I'll pause for just a second. Pause. <laughs> Talking about encouragement. My wife called me yesterday. I was cutting grass, y'all. I didn't even think about the temperature. I don't know. I didn't think about it. And it was hot. But I, I man, we got cut grass. We're doing our thing. We just trying to get finished. We had, we had, we had, we had dinner at 6 o'clock. Nick and Jake. All right, y'all. We got a game plan. We're going in with the game plan. And Miss Cutting Jake's called me out of nowhere. She told me only to call me like that. But she said, Sam, are you all right? I'm sitting on the phone with them. We'll be my witness. I'm like, yeah, why you ask me that? Y'all know, she said, it's hot outside. And I'm like, OK, yeah, it's cool, it's good. You know, then somehow the, the car disconnected. I don't know what happened. Mm -hmm. She probably hung up on me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I get to the, this, this next house. I remember at this time, I think we had like five more houses, four more houses to go, four more houses to go. I get to this house, Brother Landon. I'm, I jump on the ride line more, me and Will. I'm cutting this grass. I had, I had my hat in the, in the truck. And that sun, I don't know what happened, but I feel like my head was getting fried. <laughs> if, I had, if, I had, if I had a little bit more hair, <laughs> that tickled y'all, man. All the hair that I did have, it was, it was gone, it was fried. Mm -hmm. I'm driving this thing, right. and the people, you know, our, 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 our new clients, they was out there on the porch, you know, talking to me and everything. And, and everything. I said, yeah, you know, it was good. It, it was good to see them. I haven't seen them in a while. God bless him and everything. So I continued to, to cut the grass, and all of a sudden, I felt funny. I felt funny. I was like, oh, what is this feeling? So I was like, okay. So I got off the ride lawnmower, put the lawnmower up. I was going to get the push lawnmower because it was a heel I needed to cut. And so I was like, the lawnmower's not starting. The only thing I could think about was Janice talking to me. Y'all, it's crazy. Jesus, the lawnmower ain't starts. The lawnmower starts. Then I grabbed another one. The other one did start. I cut the thing. Then I went to the blower, and the blower wouldn't start. This is weird, y'all. My, my equipment, it starts. It wouldn't start. So I said, okay. I, get in the, I go in the truck, and I sit in the truck with the air, air conditioner on. I'm just sitting there. And I put the mirror down, and my face looked kind of funny. I said, what in the world is going on? I said, okay, God. Okay, God. Was that a warning phone call that my, my wife just did? <coughs> Because again, I'm, I'm going through life, not even thinking about the circumstances that I'm in. I'm just going through life. Then I look down on the, on the thermostat in my truck, and it said 102 degrees. So reality kicked in, and I was like, wait a minute, oh gosh. I told Will, I said, Will, I'm, I'm, feel, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling like exhausted. I said, something, something ain't right. So I grabbed, I loaded myself up with water and things like that. And I'm just sitting there, I'm like, okay. God, and I started praying. I said, that was a warning. I said, I have to know when to stop. I have to yeah. know when to call it quits. Yeah. Us, it's me and we won. We won. Man, we got this. We got this. Come on, man. Come on, man. We got this. But then, when I, when, I when I tell you this, that my, my, my pride was pushed to the side. Put a plug, Sam. I said, okay. All right. I said, hey, fella, Sam, call our, new, call, call our three clients. Tell them we done. We done. We done. He called them. He said, uh. We had one, one more we, we had to get done, y'all. One more we had to get done. So I'm taking, I'm, I'm, I'm driving, said, God, let, let us go ahead and finish this last job and let me get through. Y'all, I'm telling you the honest to God truth. Once we got finished with that job, it take us number 20, 20 minutes. Once we got finished with that job, all the equipment stopped working. <laughs> literally, when I tell you literally, as well, everything just stopped. Said, okay, all right, God, that was it. And he, God said, if you ain't gonna do it, Cause you look, you you think because you got through this one, you go do another one. Yeah. You, got, you got another one in here. Yeah. Guess what? Stop it. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, you y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh, you can do. It. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, I, I just I was reminded about your testimony. I just was reminded about Jada's running around the track. Yeah, y'all remember that? Sit your butt down. 
God will do it. But here's what I'm telling you. It doesn't mean, listen, that doesn't mean that, 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 that uh, uh, God is not with you. God is with you. That's why he told you to sit your butt down. He gave you some wisdom. I had to take heed. God, are you talking to me? Normally, oh, we're trying to twist God's word up. Keep going. He, God's told me. I, God ain't told you to keep right. cutting no dang on grass. Man. Uh, and, yes, he says, yeah, he ain't told you to keep doing this. That's you saying that. Stop it. And so here, but here, but here's here's what I'm getting at. Because some, sometimes we try to beat beat a dead horse. Sometimes God tells you to let go of certain situations, and we feel as though that we can make a change or do something that's going to change the circumstance. Well, God said you're killing yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, stop. Yeah, you see what I just said? Yeah. <laughs> you're trying. Why are you trying to help somebody else? Yeah. In their circumstance. He said, I told you to stop where you are. You need, you, you need time with me. And so sometimes we don't, we, don't, we don't see things from that perspective. We see things from, I'm, I'm, I'm always diligent. I'm always, I always finish what I start. God said that you're going to finish, but if you're going to finish this thing, you're going to do it my way. Yeah. Are you with me? So as we, and I'm saying that because right now we see Joshua in a huddle with God. We see Joshua is not out moving, doing all kind of stuff. Joshua is having this time with God. The Bible says, meditate on this word. How you gonna meditate on the word when you're out doing all the kind of stuff? You stay, you, you're so busy, you can't even hear God. Stop. And so what he showed me, he said, connect. That's what he showed me. That's my last point I'm gonna make. I'm gonna go end this service. The last point I'm gonna make is that God says that no matter what happens, you have to be encouraged. You have to, wait a minute, first of all, be encouraged to be encouraged. In other words, it's new for me. It is, it is scary, as all those descriptions I gave you all earlier. So I, I'm going to have to, why I, why, why I see the circumstances, why I feel this way, I have to encourage myself to be encouraged. Does that make sense? While, 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 while I'm, I'm saying no to flesh, I have to encourage myself it's going to be all right. The yeah. alcohol is not going to take away my circumstance. Yeah. The, 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 the narcotics is not going to take away my circumstance. Mm -hmm. the, the abuse of my body linking up with someone else is not going to take away my problem. But God, I'm going to trust you. You said to be strong in you and to, to meditate on your word day and night and, that, and to be, be, be encouraged. Don't fear because of you are with me. I'm going I'm to trust that. I'm going to trust that. In this journey, although I may not be going to what's, I might not see what's coming. If it come, God, I'm with you and I'm going to trust you. Are you with me? All right, I, I want us, church, my, my, my job in this, in this thing, uh, 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 this sermon, I, I'm, I'm going to make it clear. Remember when a watchman, uh, Ezekiel 33rd chapter, when he was instructed to give the word and warn the people? That's, that's one of my objectives in this sermon, is to warn you all. But it's, 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 a, good, it's, a, good, it's a good warning. Uh, if you're prepared, and it's like the people said about this polio, I mentioned polio. They said, they said the good thing about polio, if you have the vac vaccine, mm. you don't have to worry about the, mm. getting the polio. So in, in, in other words, in, or, in order, because it's, it's, it's uh, they said the vaccine is really 100% is what they said. That's just, that's just a scenario I'm giving you all. But here's what I'm telling you all. In preparation for your circumstances to come, I'm telling you all to be prepared. Yeah, you got to be. All right? If no one, you know, somebody said this too. Melvin, you was on it today. I'm saying this. If if it's just you, what I have to do? What I have to do in, in these uh, in these worship certain, uh, uh, settings? You know what I have to do, y'all? I take all y'all out the room. Yeah. yeah. When I'm when I'm when I'm y'all, I'm telling you, everybody's gone. You're not here because my audience is uh, 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 audience of one. Yeah. Come on. That's it. So it don't matter. I say we look at your neighbor now. Forget the neighbor. <laughs> we go. We pray and hope. You know everything good for the neighbor. <laughs> But God, I, I'm, I'm here and I'm doing all this for you. How do I look, y'all? 
Oh, you look good. I don't, I'm not talking to you. <laughs> because see, y'all only can see the physical stuff. God, how do I look? Yeah. 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 And, if, and if I'm not looking up to your status, then I need you to make me over. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you with me? Okay. All right, so I want us to what? Be encouraged, church. <laughs> to what? Be encouraged, church. As you are encouraged to encourage, be encouraged, be encouraging to those that are around you. Uh. But how you respond to stuff, people looking, guess what? Yeah. That don't mean that you are going, when, let me, I gotta make that clear. Just because you're going through something, that don't mean you, can, you keep your mouth shut. That don't mean you have to. So who told y'all that? People will tell you, oh, you're going through, don't you listen to them. They, they're going through stuff they sell. Man, listen, I'm trusting in the Lord. I'm walking in, 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 uh, by faith and not by sight. You know what? You, you, ought, you ought to do the same. Yeah, yeah. come on. Yeah. Do the same. How you, he encouraged me and she encouraged me. They're going through stuff. You dang on right. If you stick with me, guess what? We be doing a victory dance together. Yeah. Come on, somebody. All right. So we got what? Turn these, these sad voices. Because who's with us? God is who? He is with us. And as long as he's with us, he's more than the world against us. There's, there's victory. Amen? Y'all, let's, let's, let's give the Lord some praise, y'all, for him being faithful. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I'm convinced, y'all, that God has not lost the battle. I'm convinced that we are in, on the winning side. And if we stay the course, we will win. Listen, I, I, I mentioned, y'all can, can stand. I mentioned winning battles. And the key that God wanted me to remind you all is that we are going to win battles. But after the, the battle is won, we are still in a 